Hi, I'm Program Manager and Community Chef Doris Dyer with the Sylvia Center. The Sylvia Center is a food nutrition program that's located here in New York City throughout the five boroughs and also upstate in Columbia County. Today we're going to be making something that is near and dear to my heart, a Dutch baby. The Dutch baby that we're going to prepare today is actually going to be a savory version. I learned how to make this in culinary school during my first year there. It's something that stuck with me and it's just like a glorified pancake. I'm sure you're going to love it. Stay tuned. First thing that we're going to do, of course, is to wash our hands. If you watch my safety and sanitation video, Hand Washing 101, we have to wash our hands and scrub for 20 seconds just to make sure that we are nice and clean and ready to prepare our meal. Remember, hot and cold water, wash your hands, your wrists, your arms, soap, lather, and 20 seconds. Happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to me, and then we rinse. A nice good clean. Keep the water running, paper towel, dry it off, water goes off, paper towel goes into the trash, and now I'm ready to start cooking. I'm using a blender, a cast iron pan, saucepan, measuring spoons, and measuring cup. For this recipe, the first thing that we're going to do is preheat the oven to 450 degrees. Our cast iron pan is going to need to be very, very hot in order for this Dutch baby to be able to puff up. So let's preheat the oven. It's going to have to preheat for 25 minutes. The next thing that I have to do is to take my cast iron pan and put it directly into the oven. It's going to have to stay in there for 25 minutes to get nice and hot. Because this pan is going to be so hot, you have to proceed with caution. Here are the ingredients for our Dutch baby. We're going to be using three room temperature eggs, three quarters of a cup of milk, half a cup of whole wheat flour, two tablespoons of cornstarch, three tablespoons of a melted butter, half a teaspoon of salt, this is kosher salt, has a little bit more texture, and also half a teaspoon of fresh cracked black pepper. I'm going to crack my eggs and then put them into the blender. We're going to let the eggs go for about a minute until they're nice and full. Let's crack on a hard surface. The egg is going to go into the blender. Now that I've used eggs, I made sure to wash my hands and now I'm going to clean down the surface once again. So I'm going to use Clorox Cleanup. Because there are food items that are out right now, I'm going to place a paper towel over the cleanup and then spray so this way I'm not contaminating any of my food. I'm gonna wipe down the surface to kill any germs because eggs have salmonella. Give my hands a nice good wash. My eggs are inside the blender. I'm gonna get this going. I'm gonna let the motor run for about one minute and then I'm gonna start to drizzle in our um, milk. Along with the eggs goes in the milk, two tablespoons of melted butter, the flour, cornstarch, salt, and pepper. Okay, I'm ready to get this Dutch baby into the oven, so now I'm going to take out my cast iron pan. That last tablespoon of butter goes directly into the pan and then we're going to get it swirled around and then we're going to drop in our batter. So it's been about 
20, 25 minutes, and it's time to take the Dutch baby out of the oven. It should be nice and brown. Still very hot. Now that our Dutch baby is done, we can do a number of different things to this. We can fry an egg and put it on top, some avocado, some sliced meat if you would like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cover my Dutch baby with some uh, Greek yogurt that I added some extra acid to, just a tiny bit of lemon and a pinch of salt. And I'm also going to add some spring onions to the top just as a garnish. It's going to be pretty tasty. Uh, it's very eggy and custody. If you like that, this is a great dish for you. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please go to www.sylviacenter.org for more activities, recipes, demonstrations, and community resources. Please like and share, and remember, stay healthy and keep cooking.